Let me throw out three quick definitions here to get started. Attack dive angle is the angle your aircraft is pointing in relation to the ground at the time you hit the bomb release button. Bomb release speed is pretty self-explanatory. That's your aircraft speed at the time you hit the bomb release button. And finally, bomb release point. That's your aiming point when you click the bomb release button, which is done by aligning your gun sight or any other part of your aircraft to a specific point on the ground. Normally the thing you are trying to hit. Whether you're level bombing, dive bombing, or low angle bombing, there is a workable bomb release point for just about any dive angle and dive speed combination. And you can mess around offline and come up with all kinds of crazy combinations of altitude, speed, and aiming points that will actually work if they're all in sync. These factors are the three sides of a triangle that make an accurate bomb drop possible. It is roughly an equilateral triangle of factors in the sense that when one factor changes, the others must also change to maintain accuracy. It's difficult to get all three factors align perfectly for any given attack dive. So what we're looking at is a spectrum of bomb impact location possibilities. And the closer these three factors are aligned, the tighter that spectrum will be. The margin of error between these three factors you can get away with and still destroy the target depends on the target's resilience to bomb damage, which for a tank is considerable, and the destructive force of the bomb. The bigger the bomb, the more mistakes you can get away with. So how would one go about aligning these three factors to come up with a consistently working technique? Well, I'm about to tell you, and it's not rocket science. I go into a practice mission or practice server with my aircraft of choice, hit the record button, and start making attack runs on tanks with 50 kilogram bombs, using different dive angles and bomb release points. I use tanks and little bombs because if you can consistently kill a tank with a 50 kilogram bomb, any other target type is child's play. If the aircraft doesn't carry 50s, I carry 100s or the next biggest size. Once I get a solid, accurate hit and kill, I pull up the flight recording and examine these three factors of the triangle, plus three other factors that influence them and I start by taking a look at the other three factors first. Vertical and horizontal distance from the target at dive start and aircraft speed at dive start. The aircraft's vertical and horizontal distance from the target at dive start determines the initial attack dive angle. The vertical distance is simple. Every aircraft has an altimeter so you can achieve consistency very easily. Determining the correct horizontal distance from the target to start the attack dive on the correct angle is on you. And as I've stated exhaustively in previous videos, that takes practice. I just look at the recordings and make a mental note of how the target and surrounding terrain appears from that particular horizontal distance. Then go back in and try to duplicate that through further practice. These two distance factors plus your aircraft speed at dive start also determine aircraft speed at bomb release. So achieving a consistent aircraft speed at the start of every dive is just as important as being at the correct altitude and horizontal distance. In a soon to be out video, I will cover the importance of throttle control in getting all three of these factors right at dive start and how to use throttle input to adjust bomb release speed when there is a problem. Once you've started the dive, incoming visual input during the dive compared with all the experience gained through practice contained in the memory bank of your brain will tell you if you are within the correct dive angle range. And you can make limited vertical adjustments up or down to correct or fine tune the angle while you're lining up on the target. Knowing your technique's correct dive angle number in degrees is not any more important than knowing the physics behind putting a basketball through a hoop. You simply achieve consistency through repetition. It's pretty hard to get the exact same dive angle every time but what I found is that if you can stay within a range of 5 to 7 degrees at bomb release, your accuracy will be consistent. I know the right dive angle degree ranges for various aircraft only because I take external screenshots and measure the angles, but the only reason for me doing that is to show you that information in a video. In the cockpit, just like shooting hoops, it's intuitive and simply a matter of getting on that familiar dive angle you have practiced many times. Now let's talk about aircraft speed at bomb release. Like these other two factors, it must be consistent. Come in too fast, the bomb will go long. Come in too slow, it will fall short. It is very difficult to consistently hit the exact same speed at the moment of bomb release and what I found is much like that five to seven degree dive angle range of bomb release staying within a speed range of 50 kilometers per hour will ensure consistent accuracy and again we will cover that in more detail in the near future. The third side of the triangle is the bomb release point, your aiming point when you click the bomb release button. The aiming point will usually be a little different from one aircraft to another because these two other factors may be different and or because the aiming mechanism assembly is different. To get an accurate drop, the bomb release point must be something you've come up with that aligns within the dive angle and speed ranges you've also worked out for a particular aircraft. As you can see on this chart, from my own approach to low angle bombing, the three factors of the triangle may differ slightly from aircraft to aircraft, but the 
acceptable deviations of angle and speed are consistent. But maybe you want to do things differently and change these factors up or down and make it your own technique and not copy my approach directly. And that is entirely possible. Like I said, there is a workable bomb release point for just about any dive angle and dive speed. You just have to experiment and practice offline to find an alignment of these three factors that work for you. As always, thanks for watching. This is HVB. Peace out.